This jet cruises at 600 plus miles per hour. It costs 50% less to operate and you've probably never heard of it. Yes, this is not science fiction. This is real. This is Otto Aviation's Phantom 3500. Very interesting airplane as you can see from the shape. It's different. Um, it's got this laminar flow fuselage, uh, which is what allows it to operate at 50% less cost, 60, burns less, 60% less fuel. Now, this is not something airy fairy that they come up with. They actually built a prototype a few years ago with a turboprop engine on it, and they flew it around for a while and did some testing just to see if this concept of laminar flow actually did work and if the numbers were what they thought they, they, they were when they were planning and doing all the computer analysis and that. And yes, the laminar flow does work. So they went back to the drawing board and they built a jet version. Now, this is interesting because what Otto Aviation have done, I think they've been inspired by Piaggio. Now, Piaggio with the Piaggio Avanti, um, they're very innovative in the design, as you can see from the, from, from the video you've seen here. Uh, very nice airplane. Unfortunately, you know, the Piaggio P180 over the years has suffered uh, from an economic standpoint because the spare parts haven't been available. So, you know, you, you have one of these airplanes in, in America, Suddenly it breaks down, getting a spare part, your airplane is probably going to be on the ground three months, if not more. Um, and so this has uh, encouraged more and more people to not buy the Piaggio P180 because they don't want to have the problem of the airplane being grounded. And of course, you know, people buy private jets and private aircraft mainly to save time. Last thing you want is for your airplane to be sitting on the ground. So anyway, let's get back to uh, Otto um, Aviation's uh, Phantom 3500. Now. Transonic speed, 51,000 feet cruising altitude. So that's way above all the weather. So that's a good one. And the other interesting fact, it's going to have more than 3,500 nautical mile range. So that not only allow you to go coast to coast, LA to Miami, but also to, for you to go across the Atlantic, fly to Hawaii from, from, um, from the West Coast United States. So it's got quite a big range on it. But the other interesting factor, because of the wings, so it's not just the fuselage has been designed in a particular way, it's also the wings. With the wings, what they've done is they've created performance, which allows this thing to climb rapidly, but also land and take off in less than three and a half thousand feet, which doubles the number of airports this airplane can go in and out of compared to the competition. So this is another great plus, because if you think of the fact that, you know, you're not buying a plane, you're buying time. A time also is, well, if I'm going to a particular city to do business, let's say I'm going to Fort Worth, you don't have to fly into Dallas, which is what you would have to do with the airlines. You can actually fly into Meacham Field, which is Fort Worth Airport. And so you're going to be a lot closer to your meeting by, by, by doing that than if you were um, basically, you know, flying fly with the airlines and you know any other private jet that has obviously airports they can go into but you know sometimes runway is a limiting factor but this aircraft now has access to all these runways that you know three and a half thousand feet a lot more places this thing can go um, and that's really really interesting the other big plus of this aircraft inside is the cabin height six foot five now, this is unusual because you know, I think it's six foot one, six foot two is usually the, the maximum height you get on private jets, even the larger ones. But, you know, with six foot five, those of you that are tall and thinking of buying a, a private airplane, this is probably the one for you because you could actually stand up inside the airplane if you're like six two or six one or even six foot. Um, having a cabin of six foot five, 800 cubic feet volume, which is twice the size of comparable jets. <clears throat> the other interesting factor of this airplane is that inside the cabin, they don't, it's not going to have windows. It's going to have this supernatural vision, which is a high definition digital displays, which will replace the windows near the cabin. Um, and they only have windows at the front. This is another factor that allows this laminar flow to perform well because they haven't got all the windows down the side, which causes some problems and that. Um, and so that's another big advantage that this airplane has. Now, what they haven't done is they haven't talked about the cockpit. They haven't talked about the avionics. Uh, but this is my guess that they'll do with this. I reckon. This will be a single pilot aircraft. I reckon it will have state of the art avionics and probably, probably, as you know, we're talking about certification 2030, AI built into it, where the AI would act as a co pilot for the actual pilot that's flying it. Now, of course, a lot of companies will operate it like Flexjet of all the 300 of these airplanes. They'll probably operate this airplane with two pilots. I'm not saying it's single pilot. I'm saying I guess we're going to go in that direction. Um, it will be single pilot and AI will be built into it. There'll be the button you can press. And the airplane will land on its by itself. That certainly will be built into it. But I reckon it's going to be um, it's going to be a, an airplane that can be co-piloted 
with AI. So the pilot will talk to AI, probably some form of dialogue as well between the pilot, voice recognition. I think that, that that's what they're working on on this airplane. Uh, I would not be surprised if, if that's the case, which will make it even even better airplane for just less than 20 million dollars this looks like it's going to be an absolute game changer um for the industry so i'm looking forward to seeing how this whole thing develops and i hope they make it on time and delivering in 2030 so what are your thoughts on this revolutionary airplane um built by uh, the guys at auto aviation this phantom 3500 what do you think do you think they're going to carve a nice uh, part of the market certainly these 300 uh, airplanes been ordered by uh, FlexJet, flexion ownership is is um, is going to be a, a a good one. It's a good start for the company. It's a bit of a cash injection and allows them to get all the money they need to certify this thing. So I think we've got interesting times here. So hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to BizJet TV and also make sure that you join our Hangar Club uh, Patreon group and uh, keep uh, us going here and producing more interesting content for you here. On Basic TV, and check out this other video we did recently, which I'm sure you'll enjoy about the new Goldstream G300. And that's all from Police Apollo here on Basic TV, and I'll see you on the next one.